Hi, here's a very quick video that's going to help you create a very small table and get a graph up and running very quickly. So uh, in one of my classes, we have, um, we're collecting some data and I'll say these are the trials, oops, trials, and it's based off of time in seconds. All right, so we have trial one, two, three, four, five. The data that we've collected, I'll just make up some data here. Don't do this at home. Um, 3.0, and let's say 2.9, uh, 2.6, and how about 2.5? Okay, oops, that one looks funny. How about this? Okay, now a couple things to do really quickly. Um, Notice the decimal places are different. One thing that is quite common in science, we want our decimal places to be the same. And you can do that up here by choosing left or right for depending on how much specificity you want in your data. Um, also, some people might run into problems at this point with the decimal places or commas, depending on where you purchased your computer, the settings will either have commas or decimal places. Make sure those are all the same. To double check what you're using, if you're using a whole number here, have a look. You can stretch this out and you'll know right away because you'll either see commas or decimals in your whole numbers over here. So that's just a quick check if you run into an error later. Now, like I promised, we're going to make a quick graph. So I select all that data. Let's look at it again. I go up here and select all the data, everything, including the words up here, which is fine. And I go to insert. All right, follow the mouse up there, insert. Click that. Uh, the type of graph that is we often use in our science classes. Bar graphs are fine. Um, other types of graphs, line graphs are good too. But here's a standard one that we often use as a scatter plot graph. So I'm going to click that. And suddenly I see my graph show up here. Um, lift that up a little bit to where I can see it. My head's in the way down here. I'll just reduce the size of the screen. There we go. Um, a couple of things I notice. Uh, a lot of blank space down here. So I'm going to clean that up really quickly by double clicking on it and I get some options. So if I double click on the numbers on the vertical or the horizontal axis, I can change the numbers here. Um, I don't need from, I don't need from zero to two. It seems a bit empty there. So I'll just start, let's say I'll start at two and go up to 3.5. Uh, move my, oh yeah, there, let me move my face out of the way so I can actually see what I'm doing here. And Hit return and that looks a lot better All right now a few things missing we always want to add uh, some labels for horizontal axis I can also add a label for my vertical axis the y axis whoops let's go over here and now I can change my title to be something more appropriate and there you go maybe that's not very appropriate but whatever it works and there it goes. Okay, my um, axis across the x-axis, I probably want to change the title. These are my trials that I'm looking at. And uh, this axis here is time measured in seconds. And we start to have a graph. Um, one thing that would help me analyze this graph is if I included a uh, trend line. You can find trend lines down here. And there's different options depending on your class, but for us, we're going to use a linear trend line. And there we go, a beautiful graph. Okay, so there's a quick tutorial on collecting your data in a table and making a graph on Excel. Let me know if you have questions.